tremendously busy night. Two sectional championships decided in volleyball tonight, so let's just dive right in. A one-night tournament in Class AA Region 2 Section 2. Elkins topped Lincoln and earned the right to face defending state champion Philip Barber in the semifinals. Strong start for the Colts out of the gate. McKenna Halfin set up down the middle of the floor, and she brings it down hard off of the Elkins block and in for a point. Another chance later in the first set. Philip Barber keeping things in system for Halfin, and she hammers it home and opens up an even bigger lead. It's all Philip Barber after that. The Colts play it out to the right side. Avery McDaniel blasts it down the line for more, and they sweep Elkins and Cruz into the finals. On the other side of the bracket, a Harrison County rivalry pairing. Robert C. Bird and Liberty square off. That's the three seed against the two seed. An even start to this one. Gina Alvaro delivers a service ace for the Eagles. It's 4-4 in the first set. Liberty able to build up some steam after that, though. Haley Haynes coming down the middle of her side of the floor, and she sends this one flying straight into your living room, a 13-10 lead. The Mountaineers take the first set with some of that momentum. Haynes gets another opportunity. She gets Gives the Mountaineers a five-point lead, and Liberty ends up winning that first set 25-18. On to the second, still even, but Bird able to take control. Late Cameron Ware takes advantage of a free ball at the net, spikes it home for a 22-20 lead. Eagles win that second set. Liberty takes the lead or takes the third, and then in the fourth, Liberty comes up with a huge block to set up match point, and then a service error gives the Mountaineers the win, and they advance to the finals to face Philip Barber. And finally, to decide the sectional championship, a rematch of last season's sexual, sectional final. It's Liberty and Philip Barber. Another roaring start out of the gate for the Colts. They continue to funnel the ball to McKenna Halfin, and she continues to deliver. That makes it 4-1 Philip Barber. Another opportunity for the Colts to strike as this one goes on, and Halfin delivers one more time. Straight down the middle, she comes up with another kill in that first set, and Philip Barber sets the tone early in this one, taking home the class AA Region 2 section two title over Liberty. Now to South Harrison right into the action. Class A region two section two double elimination. Trinity and Doddridge. The Warriors tie things up here. Emma Jenkins with the kill to make it four to four. The Bulldogs not giving up on this one though. Abby Thomas able to come up with a kill and that is able to find the corner. They now lead 8-6, but an ace from Luciana Citrone ties things back up at 15. Doddridge repays the favor. Brooke Burnside gives the Bulldogs set 125-16. On to the second set, three straight aces from Citrone gives the Warriors a 6-2 lead, and then Arlie Humphreys comes up with a kill to help them pull away at 19-11. Emma Frankenberger cuts the deficit down for the Bulldogs to seven. They try to hang on, but Marlo Flecker delivers the final blow to give Trinity that second set, 25-16, they would take the third and fourth as well, putting them into the championship game to match up with Clay Battelle. Now on to that second game, Seabees and Warriors. Emma Jenkins with the ace ties us up at seven early. The Seabees, the one seed, looking to pull ahead. They get a kill from Ruby Owens that will help them do just that. The Warriors able to battle back, though. It's Humphreys this time. She delivers for the Warriors to add to that lead. They take the first set, 25-16. On to the second set, an ace from Ella Liebarger gives the CBs a seven point advantage at 13 6. And then Nevea St. Clair is able to bring it down. CBs up big 19 6. They roll on with that momentum to win the second set 25 11. Trinity battles back and takes the next two, though, and tops Clay Battelle for the section title 3 1. Stay right there. We'll be back with a final look at your forecast right after this.